at recent policy events, G8, Rio Plus 20, and also the HARTS meeting in Brussels, food security has featured high on the agenda. Why do you think it is so important that food security is in the center of discussions on development strategies? Well, I believe food security rightly takes center stage uh, again after uh, a long time when it hasn't been center stage. And um, I think food security has been also the main trigger not only for discussion of food issues, but also for uh, agriculture and rural development. Uh, and it has been central to, well, what you may call a renaissance that takes place in these uh, areas. Um, I think food security is also crucial uh, not only to fight hunger, but also to overcome poverty, which is, of course, also a, a crucial issue. And, um, and uh, therefore, it, uh, it, it is uh, very important that it did take center stage again, and uh, we need it in order to meet the, the MDG1 in particular, to address hunger, but also to address poverty. Now, coming to the role of, uh, of networks like the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development. How do you see the role of these networks in, in tackling food security or insecurity rather? What is the value added of collaborative instruments for making progress towards MDG1? Well, networks in general, but the platform in particular, has done a great job in increasing our advocacy power. No single institution, member institution of the platform, could have done a similar role of advocacy for food security, for agriculture, for rural development issue, uh, like the, the joint efforts under the, the platform uh, has done. And I see that as a, a great success. And um, I think by pulling the rope together, we can move much bigger things and uh, yeah the, the platform in particular to me has proven that uh, joining forces is necessary in order to keep it on the agenda not only to get it there i think the platform had a, a substantial share in getting food security on the agenda again and uh, it is needed to keep it there as illustrated by the announcement of the new alliance at g8 in may there are more and more efforts to include the private sector in strategies to boost rural development and to fight against food insecurity. GIZ participated in the Cracking the Nut conference in Washington, which was looking at these issues in particular. And it supports the new German initiative for agribusiness and food security. From your perspective at GIZ, what can be expected from these private sector initiatives? Well, we at uh, GIZ have realized that uh, collaborating with the private sector is, uh, is not only helpful, but it's essential uh, in order to, to do our work. Um, I think collaboration with the private sector is crucial in order to better link smallholder farmers to markets, in order to uh, strengthen food value chains uh, or sustainable supply chains, it is also helpful in increasing the efficiency of food production or processing. And um, I think private sector itself also uh, realized that there's tremendous benefits in uh, collaborating closer with development agencies like uh, GIZ. And uh, we are simply being uh, contacted by uh, various private companies um, in order to uh, to, to start uh, joint activities. Uh, what I would also mention is uh, a very crucial thing is also we often have uh, good uh, experiences in supporting programs and projects in partner countries, but in order to scale them up, we do need the, the private sector. And uh, jointly, that's, uh, that's much easier to be done. What is GIZ doing in terms of collaborating with the uh, private sector? And do you see potential for the Global Donor Platform to engage more closely with the private actors? 
Well, you mentioned uh, briefly one example uh, already. The uh, uh, German Initiative for Agribusiness and Food Security is one uh, platform that we uh, supported and that we helped establish, uh, which uh, addresses issue of uh, collaboration between uh, private sector and the uh, development community. Um, I think uh, that is very, very beneficial and it can address issues that, such as um, inclusive business models, that's one uh, specific interest that we currently uh, uh, push forward. Inclusive business models are meant to bring together smallholder farmers um, with uh, uh, larger scale uh, private sector entities uh, which helps small farmers to uh, to link uh, to link to the markets and uh, we put a lot of hope in these uh, in these uh, inclusive business models we are currently working on uh, different pilot projects and we are getting uh, very promising results in that uh, as far as the platform is concerned uh, i think apart from the efforts that we do in the german development cooperation there's a lot of uh, other member institutions of the platform who are similarly engaged in private sector collaboration. Naturally, the platform is the, the ideal uh, forum where we can bring these experiences together and, uh, and learn from it. So that, I, I see, is a, a very crucial role uh, of the platform. In Do you think regard. the platform is um, on track with its efforts? I think it has uh, it has uh, had a good start in that. I think uh, there are there are some people working on that, uh, and uh, the first uh, meetings and uh, web conferences that have been done, I think, are very promising. And uh, we have also, on the basis of these, um, done some follow up with particular uh, uh, platform members which have a specific interest, and we have uh, followed up some of the issues bilaterally and uh, and that has been very beneficial and is very promising thank you very much you're welcome